Hey, welcome to birdsupplies.com. I'm the owner of birdsupplies.com. My name's Diane Burroughs, and I founded birdsupplies.com about 23 years ago. Our role has switched over the years. Originally, we were uh, a company that sold just like premium products for to care for birds properly. Um, I was living in Wichita, Kansas at the time, and, and uh, I had a hard time finding really premium products that I wanted to use with my birds, so I started birdsupplies.com. But about 11 years ago, I switched over um, to working exclusively with parrot uh, problems. Specifically, we really focus on feather plucking uh, for birds. And so we make collars and have a line of nutritional supplements and then uh, educational materials. So today, uh, in light of the educational materials that we really uh, propose, is uh, we're gonna talk about the role of treats and training. Um, treats are a really important uh, piece of training your bird to perform behaviors that you want them to continue doing. So we're talking about a concept called positive reinforcement here. Um, and positive reinforcement is literally uh, making, a, uh, making a big deal, if you will, rewarding the bird, giving them a motivating factor to perform certain behaviors. And then um, when your bird knows what behaviors are expected and it builds a bond with you, uh, it becomes a better behaved pet. So treats are a big factor in that. And another big factor in it is this thing called a click. Right here's a fancy one. It's called a click stick and it's got a target stick on it so that I could point, you know, to whatever I want Smokey to pay attention to. This is Smokey. He's my 21 year old African, African gray uh, Congo. And Smokey knows all about these uh, treats because we've trained him um, quite extensively with them. So a lot of people worry that maybe if they give their bird treats uh, during the training process that they're actually like bribing the bird and, and um, that really couldn't be anything further from the truth. Treats are literally more of a form of communication um, that captures your bird's attention and helps them focus on the behavior that they're getting rewarded for. So think of treats as a form of communication. That's an important mind shift uh, mindset shift uh, if you are worried that treats may actually be a bribe. Um, you know, birds uh, like Smokey probably have the emotional intelligence of a three to four year old tops and the uh, mental intelligence of a four to five year old child. So just like a young toddler, uh, he's got a short attention span. And so treats help me to really focus his attention on uh, what I want him to learn and the behaviors that I expect or want him to perform. So, um, when you when you are using treats, you got to choose something that your bird is really motivated by. And the easiest way to do that that we found is to get a variety of um, things that you know your bird kind of likes. You wouldn't want to use the ordinary food that you feed it every day, uh, but you would want to. Um, get maybe a seed mixture, or I like to get uh, these Golden Feast um, dried fruits and vegetables. Uh, they also have seeds and nuts in them too. Some of some of the blends do. But if you have a variety and you put it in a little dish like this, you can literally. Um, I have a full almond in there. Um, you can literally look and see which one your bird picks when you present it with the. Um, with the treat. So essentially what you wanna do is you wanna figure out what treat your bird's gonna go for. So Smokey went for like a, a little sliver of a peanut um, there. That tells me that out of this dish, that's what he's gonna work for the most. So what I would do next is I wanna load the clicker. And what that means is that the clicker is another way to communicate with your bird. It literally marks the exact point in time that uh, your bird has done the behavior that you want it to do. So uh, I don't know if I can get Smokey to do this, but he used to wave a lot when I would click uh, the clicker. I haven't worked with him on waving uh, recently. But if I several times in a row, he starts associating the sound of the click with he's gonna get a treat. And then I would want to expand that time out so that he has to wait a little bit, you know, maybe just a, 
and then I could wait longer. Um, and that way your bird um, know, knows that, hey, it hears the click, it's going to anticipate that it's going to get a treat, like such. And so we've talked about how to choose the treat um, and how to use the clicker, load the clicker, because these are two important tools that you'll need when you're training. I would is ideally want to have two or three treats that I know that Smokey is really motivated by. Um, since I've done this before, I do know that there's three treats that he just loves. He loves almonds, and so I have um, broken these up with like a little hammer um, so that they're small, he can consume it really quickly, and we can uh, successively go about our training process. He'll also work uh, for, like he loves diced dried papaya. Um, and so I'll, I usually use that for my training. And another thing that he really loves is, uh, I don't know if I say this correctly, edame, um, those uh, Japanese soybeans, I guess is what they are. Those are his three favorite treats that I can um, always count on him working for, for me. So as you saw, I showed him the dish and I let him pick the treat and he picked, um, of the treats today, he picked uh, like a safflower, safflower seed, a peanut, um, and that's pretty much what he picked. Um, so I've got three favorite treats that I know that he'll work for. So like I said, the treats need to be small, they need to be consumed fairly quickly, and um, now that I know that what he'll what he'll work for, I can start uh, eliciting the behaviors that I want to see in him and click and treat so that he does them more often. The whole idea is to keep it fun and enthusiastic, short in time span, like maybe do it two or do your training two or three times a day um, uh, in short time spans so that you're keeping your bird engaged. Um, so for instance, um, say I wanted to teach Smokey how to um, uh, tolerate misting and he does tolerate misting so I, I I'm probably not going to show it to you because it, it wouldn't be a good example for you to see but I would like show him the jar of the, of the spray click and treat it, until he's really tolerating looking at the actual spray jar then I would uh, slowly hold it over his head click and treat numerous times uh, till he till I knew that he was tolerating that without fear um, when it's maybe six to eight inches away from his uh, face and then I'd start or I wouldn't point it toward his face ever but then I'd start spraying him and then click and treat him every time that he tolerated a spray um, and that's how I would train him to tolerate misting so I hope that's helpful for you. Uh, treat training is, a, um, or clicker training is really um, research based. There's a ton of research that shows that it works for um, all kinds of animals, uh, zoo animals, uh, you know, birds, dogs, all kinds of animals. So it's something that you should really have in your toolbox as you're wanting to change behaviors uh, and reward behaviors that are natural parrot behaviors but not problem behaviors. So uh, take care, hope you found some um, useful information. If you would give me a thumbs up on this and write some questions and comments in, in uh, the area below, I'd sure appreciate it. And uh, take care and have a good day. Bye-bye.